Man, it's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you live in the pink dungeon, giving it to you real, real rugged. Um, nigga out here just like Bryson Tiller and shit with the, with the dad, I mean, with the hat and the hoodie and shit, but we out here, man. Um, gotta, gotta speak on something, bro. This nigga Kodak Black is on the way of being the best Florida rapper of all time. Now, don't, don't come at me now. I'm not saying he the best right now. I heard some crazy. I said that shit on Instagram. This bitch told me Coley P was the best Florida rapper all the time. I said, <laughs> bitch, Coley who, guy? <laughs> bitch, hey, 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 Coley P sound like goddamn, uh, goddamn a cool way to say Colin and shit, goddamn. Oh, yeah, hit your Coley P, goddamn. What the fuck is a Coley P, nigga? That sound like some shit that when, when your Colin fucked up, you peeing wrong and shit. Oh, he got that Coley P, goddamn. That's how I got them new disease and shit. Oh, don't fuck with a little bitch. You got that Coley P. I ain't, I'm not meaning to go on Coley because I fuck with Coley P. Coley P is hard, but to call him best rapper, best Florida rapper of all time is absurd. So there's a lot of Florida rappers that I will put in there. Um, Pelize is up there. Pelize had a, a real nigga run. Now his real nigga card has been in question ever since forever. But that nigga got some real nigga song. Ten years, and I get my nigga ten years. You know what I'm saying? I said that hard. So I said that five. Um, I mean, like I said, like Pelize got a whole bunch of real nigga classics. Everybody know he got a he got an album called Real Nigga Testament. That. It's a whole bunch of real songs on there, you feel me, man? Um, what, what, what he got? I'm in all blight. I can't grieve. He got a whole song whispering, and that might be better than Ying Tens, the Ying Yang Twins whisper song, because that nigga's really just, I, I done came up in here. I'm up in all blight. That's, that's fire. Um, who else? You got Trick Daddy, of course, Legend. Um, who else would you put in there in Florida Raps? I guess Rick Ross. Um, yeah, Rick Ross, of course. I'm not gonna say I guess Rick Ross. Rick Ross is, uh, very, very solid. Um, but Kodak Black, bro, that nigga, now, I, my critique of Kodak Black at first was he sound like every Florida hood rapper. Now, I know I say this a lot, and niggas do not understand. Like, I always ask y'all. Nobody ever asked me to post them. I have a whole bunch of examples of what I'm talking about. And when he first came out, I was like, ah, oh, he sound like goddamn Keezy up the street. You know what I'm saying? So I uh, head first Keezy. Well, that nigga sound like, he sound like anybody out uh, of cut circle or something. So, I mean, a whole bunch of Jacksonville groups I'm naming right now. And that was my critique of him. But... What he has that they don't have, a lot of those people that I named, they they have a lot of great rappers in their circle, but they're very inconsistent. Like they'll put out a crazy fire song, but then the next day they'll put out a trash song. Like ah, so they're very like iffy, wishy washy, and iffy. This nigga Kodak has been, bum bum bum. I'm talking about goddamn at the at the um. That nigga's a trained sniper. That nigga's really a sniper. Yeah, that nigga's at the goddamn gun range on one knee hitting one of these. <laughs> Hey, nigga, nigga, like he in Iraq, nigga hitting one of these, pow, headshot every time, bro. Even his Lucy's are fire, man. And yesterday he dropped a song, Rapping Over Prostitute, which is one of my favorite Lil Wayne songs of all time. I wouldn't care if you was a prostitute. Crazy song. This nigga here, I'm thinking he finna disrespect the classic. This man went over a Lil Wayne song and killed it, man. This is, bro, snot thought, bro. Wait, 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 she, uh, what do you say? Uh, she said that I'm a snot thot. Look at that nigga over there. She said that I'm a snot sneaky nigga over there. Hey, what that nigga said? That nigga said, um, that nigga said something like, uh, I'm Steve Austin with the rings. Stone cold rock on a nigga in the thing. Hey, what he said? Hey, he said the coochie was so good. She made me cut off all my friends. I'm thinking about cutting up all my kin. I just want to go in. Thought I wasn't going hit. I thought it was a one night stand. <laughs> Bro, that nigga said the coochie was so good, he thinking about cutting off his can, bro. That, bro, imagine being in some coochie, you like, nigga, I ain't gonna talk to my mama for the rest of the year. That mean I'm gonna be in that thing, you know what I'm talking about? Hit it without the Jimmy Mac and go half on the baby. This nigga called out black is so consistent, and he brings the real Florida sound. I love Rob Banks to death, but a, a nigga outside of, like, the city and a couple other songs... You would not know that I would not know the niggas from Florida. He puts on a very heavy Florida accent now. But a nigga like X, all them niggas, I would never do them niggas as Florida. This is Florida to the fullest right here. This is like hood Florida music. Like if you grew up in Florida and you know some hood niggas or your cousins, some hood niggas, you just you know you heard it. This is Kodak. And he put it to the mainstream. And it's crazy because niggas been rapping like this since I was a you know what I'm saying, since I'm a little kid. And the fact that it's, he's making it mainstream, it's crazy, bro. The fact that niggas are really rocking him, it surprised me. When niggas tell me that they don't Sorry, like Kodak, call me. But yeah, when a nigga said that he not from Florida and he don't like Kodak, I understand because like he makes such Florida nigga music. You I don't think you can understand the music and resonate with it fully if you're not from Florida. Like, listen to Snot Thought, bro, that was just beautiful, bro. So many quotables, bro. Like 
he's just such a Florida nigga. It almost made me cry. You know, it made it, 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 it give me a little tear thug. You know, I mean, a little thug to excuse me. Like the nigga is so good, bro. And like I can understand if you don't like him. It's just a Florida thing. Like he had, like he's. I'm not gonna say he's up there with Boosie, but the buzz in Florida for this nigga is like what was. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna put it right there with Boosie, but he's the closest thing that I've seen in Florida that ain't came to that since Boosie. And it's crazy, bro, because the nigga's such a Florida nigga. Like. I, I feel like I went to, like, First Coast High School with this nigga, bro. Like, it's so real. Like, I feel it. And it's, man, shout out to Kodak, man. Just for giving me that feeling. He's in my top five rappers right now, man. Like, right now, currently, not even in Florida. He, right now, he's my favorite in Florida. But outside of Florida, he's in my top five, bro. Like, that nigga, it's, it's, it's a Florida thing. And a Florida nigga, I feel like if you're not a Florida nigga, you can't even comment on this because you don't understand what, like, the feeling he's giving off. Like, it's you you can't understand it fully. You know what I'm saying? It's like I feel like a nigga that's listening to a uh, Paper Butterfly. Like, the song Complexion, you do not understand that fully if you have never dealt with complexion issues, like being sensitive that you're dark skin or you, you light skin and you getting privileged like you if you're not feeling that if you don't if you never lived through that i don't feel like you could uh, fully appreciate it you could love the song but you just can't fully appreciate it and that's how i go back with kodak man you cannot fully appreciate it if you're not a florida nigga and it's it's, it's amazing bro and i just want to let y'all know this nigga's gonna be the best rapper of all time from florida because he gives that feeling constantly bro snot thought bro Bro, this nigga told, this nigga said the judge say, hey, do eight years. You know what I told him? You do that shit, bro. What, bro? Imagine being in jail. I mean, imagine being in court. The, 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 the judge got them. We're going to get you. You're going to give you eight years, Mr. Black. He said, um, your honor, uh, no disrespect, but, uh, hey, how about you do that shit? I got stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I got to be a snot pot. You know? <laughs> That's crazy, bro. This nigga's the, bro, this nigga's amazing. Shout out to Kodak Black. Salute, double salute for this nigga right here. I mean, we could just go down and just like break down lyrics with like of what this nigga done said. Like calling niggas green. Like I've heard him say green. Like that is a Florida term. Like call nigga green, bro. He's saying jit. It's it's just like, bro. It's the feeling he gives off, and this and he is a good rapper at that. Like like the fact that like he's so descriptive on what he says. Like he can give you like a very vivid picture. He's pretty like he's pretty decent at storytelling. Like the song letter where he's writing a letter to his homeboy. All the intangibles of a good rapper is there for that man, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that he is so Florida with it is crazy. Like, the nigga said, what he said, uh, I thought, he said, I took my dog to the, uh, took my dog to the vet when he turned out to be a rat. That's fire, bro. Man, that nigga say, the nat nat, bro. You know how many times I'm gonna call the bit a nat nat, bro? Every time I, every time I like a bit, I find out she a nat. Somebody called a vet, my dog turned out to be a rat. Hey, come on, bro. Like, this nigga is so, this nigga might goddamn Wu-Tang on the next song, bro. This nigga, he's so Florida. And that's why, it's just a lot of stuff that makes him uh, the best rapper of all time in Florida. Or uh, going to that direction, excuse me. Because he could fall off, but I don't think he is. But he's in that direction of being the best rapper of Florida. But, um, hey. I don't know. Just listen to this. If you even not from Florida, tell me how you feel about what I'm saying. Like, do you understand it? Because it's hard for me to explain to a nigga that's not from Florida on why Kodak is so good if he doesn't understand it already. The video for Snot Thought was amazing, bro. Like, so many gifts from that video could be made. So many quotables. He said he's trying to turn a, 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 a hood rat into a, um, or he's trying to turn a hoe into a goddamn princess. Bro, come on. How can you hate on that, bro? This nigga is getting girls from the hood, hoes from the hood, and giving them better lives, bro. This nigga need a lifetime achievement award if you ask me. Nigga's a goat. I'm out. Until next time I say what I mean, I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate it. Players gonna play. I like your boy now.